Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the game Death Stranding Director's Cut running on the Apple Silicon Mac. Now, it might not be as straightforward as simply downloading this from the Mac App Store. There are a couple of tips and fixes for actually downloading this larger game. I'm also going to solve a couple of issues preventing this game from launching in the first place. So in order to download Death Stranding, we're going to go to the App Store. So click on your App Store icon here, and then we're going to do a search for Death Stranding. So type in D-E-A-T-H, and then type in Death Stranding, and then we have the Mac app here. And then we're going to make a purchase of the game. So this game isn't free, I'm afraid. You need to make a purchase. You also need to make sure that you have a compatible Mac. You need to have an Apple M1 chip or later, and you need to be updated to a recent version of macOS, for example, macOS Sonoma. So once we're sure that we're ready to buy this game, just click on the blue button here and make a purchase. And I'm buying this before the day it comes out. So just press pre-order or just buy at the time of recording. So just authenticating, you need to type in your Apple ID password. So make sure that's typed in. And then once that's ready, this button should say something like download. You can go ahead and download this game. And now we made the purchase, what we we'll to do is press the download button and then let the game download. So you might find that Death Stranding does load kind of slowly. So you can't really tell how fast this is going. You might be able to see from the activity monitor some of the progress, but the real trick is that you put your mouse cursor over the progress bar here and it tells you the speed. So this is going at 8.8 .8 megabytes per second and how much data is downloaded. So that's three gigabytes out of 76.97 gigabytes. And also you need to make sure that you have enough space on your computer. Ideally, you want more than double the actual game file size installation size because it needs space to unpack and decompress. So just be patient and wait for that to finish. So one annoying error that you might face is that after you've completed the download, it might say here, unable to install app. So there's not really a fix for this, I'm afraid. You just have to press OK and then press the cloud button to download this entire game again, I'm afraid. So once the app's downloaded, you might have an issue launching the game. So you might have this problem where you try and click on the game or the app and it just won't load. And this is due to game center integration. So what you want to do is like quit out of the game entirely. If you can't quit out, just go to the Apple logo, go to force quit and then make sure that Death Stranding Director's Cut force quits. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the top left hand side, go to System Settings, and then we're going to scroll down until we get to the Game Center. And what you need to do is to log into the Game Center by tapping on this toggle button here. And we're going to log into this account, the same one as our iTunes or iCloud account. It doesn't actually matter which one it is. As long as it's turned on, then we're going to be able to launch the game correctly. So now that that's ready, what we're going to do is to go ahead and close this and then press the open button. And now the game is going to launch. So you can see here the game is launched. We're signed into our Game Center account. Game mode is turned on and that's all working correctly. So we've now launched the game and we're now in. So we're now able to play on max settings at 4K on the M3 Max chip. Runs great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.